There are reports that 28-year-old rapper Draco the Ruler was fatally stabbed at an LA music festival, leading to his death. The rapper has been a staple of the underground LA hip-hop industry, and while his performances may have left him with a lot of fans, they have also left him with a lot of enemies. While the stabbing has left many people in the rap industry stunned, those who are close to him aren't really shocked. Keep watching until the end of this video to find out why Draco the Ruler was killed. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. On the night of December 19th, 2021, CBS Los Angeles started to report a stabbing incident that occurred at the Once Upon a Time in LA music festival where the likes of Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, and of course Draco the Ruler were on the set list. There were thousands of fans at the music festival so it wasn't initially clear exactly who it was that got stabbed. However, soon details started to emerge and fans started bracing for the worst. A few minutes after the initial report, the No Jumper podcast tweeted that Draco the Ruler was reportedly stabbed in the neck at Once Upon a Time in LA festival earlier tonight. While his condition was still unclear as of now, a stab in the neck wasn't really taken lightly. About an hour after the stabbing, the LAPD was able to confirm that it was indeed Draco who was the stabbing victim, and that he had been transported to a local hospital to treat his wounds. At this point, things could have gone either way. Tomas Meyer of People Magazine later reported that Snoop Dogg had decided to cancel his performance at the festival in wake of the shooting, but 50 Cent was still on track to perform. Snoop Dogg, the headliner of the event, canceling the performance started to worry a lot of the fans who were at the event, many of whom didn't even know what was going on. No one was in police custody at the time either, which only created more panic. The stabbing incident occurred right behind the main stage between MLK Boulevard and Hoover Street. The police had cordoned off the entire area while only confirming that the victim was in critical condition. A few minutes later, the police told the organizers to shut down the entire event, which was later confirmed by CBS LA. The Once Upon a Time in LA Festival tweeted a picture that said, the festival is ending early. All performances are now over. Please head to the closest exit and head eastbound on MLK. According to the LAPD, the stabbing incident occurred after a fight broke out backstage, but it's not clear whether Draco was even involved in the fight or not. Other artists are among the suspects being considered by the LAPD by the incident. TMZ later confirmed that the rapper was gone, leading to an outpour of tributes by fans and artists alike. Right after the incident, Snoop Dogg took to Twitter and tweeted a note saying, I'm saddened by the events that took place last night at the Once Upon a Time in LA festival. My condolences go out to the family and loved ones of Draco the Ruler. I'm not with anything negative and as one of the many performers, I was there to spread positive vibes only to my city of LA. Last night I was in my dressing room when I was informed about the incident and chose to immediately leave the festival grounds. My prayers go out to everyone affected by tragedy. Please take care, love one another and stay safe y'all. I'm praying for peace in hip hop. One of the fans posted a Twitter exchange that happened between Nipsey and Draco back in 2018. Draco was locked up at the time, and Nipsey was one of the few rappers who checked up on Draco and offered to bail him out. It's sad to think that both of these men have left this world now. There was also a video from the incident leaked that showed people trying to jump up on the stage while security tries to block them from entering. It likely occurred during whatever fight was happening at the time. Another video shows Draco lying down on the floor with a pool of blood to his side, captioned, Damn, they got Draco. The overall atmosphere after the incident was pretty intense, and it seems like the person responsible managed to get away during all the madness. According to photographer Bridget Arias, who was working with the event backstage, the investigation was set back by all the conflicting reports given by bystanders, who may not have even been present at the time of the stabbing itself. Draco got stabbed, then another person confirmed it, and then it was kind of like the monkey game where everyone kept repeating a different version of what was happening, she said. The festival goers who were forced to leave early were stuck in their cars for hours after the incident, due to the sheer confusion and chaos that ensued because of what happened. Draco's publicist later confirmed the reports of his death the following morning. Even by the next day, no suspect had been arrested for what happened. Luis Garcia of the LAPD said that the detectives are still trying to figure out what exactly happened, and more importantly, who caused the incident to happen. 
it doesn't really seem like the LAPD has any leads, although a person who was confirmed to be present at the stabbing told the LA Times that Draco was attacked by a group of people, not an individual. So who could have even been involved in such an incident? Did Draco have any existing feuds with any rappers? Well, Draco, like any other rapper, had a long legal history behind him, and he definitely didn't get along well with everyone. Earlier this year, Draco touched upon his rivalry with fellow rapper YG in a video that is now going viral. YG had been constantly disrespecting Draco in various interviews, and it really touched a nerve with Draco. Draco even went as far as to threaten to kill YG, just months before he was killed himself. As far as we know, YG is not seen as a suspect by the LAPD, and there's very little reason that she should be treated as a suspect. Trash talking is a pretty normal part of rap, and while it has escalated in the past, the beef between YG and Draco wasn't nearly at the level where YG would have taken drastic measures like this. If we take a look at some of Draco's legal history, some rappers may have had a reason to fear him. He was once arrested for illegal possession of a firearm, although he was never convicted. In 2018, he was arrested for conspiracy to commit murder, attempted murder, and first-degree murder because of a shooting that had occurred in California earlier that year. Other members of his team were also arrested because of it. He was in jail for a year until he was acquitted of his murder charges, although charges of shooting from a motor vehicle and criminal gang conspiracy were refiled by the district attorney just a few weeks later which led him straight back to jail. During his second stint in prison, he started writing his album Thank You For Using GTL, which was later described as the single best album ever written from jail by Pitchfork and was included in their list of the top 50 albums released in 2020. In November of 2020, he was finally released from jail after entering a plea deal with the district attorney. For the first time in over three years, Draco was a free man. Draco seemingly never got into trouble after being released from jail. On top of that, his career was booming, and it seemed like he was finally going to catch his big break. He managed to get a Drake feature on his album, which is a testament to how big he had become. But it all came to a crashing end just a year after he was released from jail. One of the rising forces of West Coast hip-hop is no longer with us, and we hope he rests in peace. Do you think Draco's murderers will ever be caught? Who do you think is involved in the stabbing? How do you think Draco's music will be seen years from now? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified when we post more content. Thanks.